Hey folks, this is Norm. In this video I'll explain to you how to make your piano sound more interesting. If you are not a music producer and you are here for the entertainment, don't worry, I got you. I want to make content for both sides, music producers and people who are just here for the entertainment. Welcome to 5 tips to let your piano sound more interesting. Tip number 1. Choose the right piano. A lot of beginners choose FL Keys because they think there is no better piano than FL Keys in FL Zero. But that's not true. If you go to Packs, Instruments, Keyboard, you can choose the Grand Piano and it actually sounds way better than FL Keys. Let's compare those two. The Grand Piano. As you can see, there's a big difference. Like, let's compare it again. The grand piano is a lot brighter than the FL Keys piano. So as a beginner, I would always use this piano. If you're not satisfied with this piano sound, you can also download some free piano VSTs online, like Addictive Keys, Keys on Classic, but make sure to choose the Yamaha Grand Piano and Labs. Oops. Um. <laughs> this is how they sound like. Tip number two, improve your MIDI. If you want to make your MIDI to sound more interesting, there are a couple of things in FL you should know. For example, the strumming effect. If you select all the long notes and press Alt S, you can work with the strumizer and this is how it sounds like. It sounds so much smoother and much more realistic. Another effect that I use is the randomizer. If you're too lazy to set the velocity for each individual note, just select everything and click on randomize. And now you can randomize the velocity a bit. Now it sounds so much more realistic. <laughs> Tip number three, how to process pianos. So I got this piano here with this melody again. I always start with the EQ like this and I always make sure to remove the sub like this, for example, because I always add an additional sub. After that, I add an OTT for more clarity. But just a little bit like this. After that you can add in Valhalla Room or Reverb. Doesn't work too good with this melody, let's try the other one. And this sounds very beautiful. You can also add a delay. I always choose the delay bank. Then I choose the ping pong delay and turn down the volume a bit. But the delay in the Valhalla room is 
especially good for very high piano notes like melodies. So let me copy this to a clone of this piano like this. So I can process them individually. Here I remove the Valhalla room at the delay bank and here I add them and also cut a little bit more of the low end like this. And now it sounds like this. Another great trick for lo-fi is isotope vinyl. You can add some vibrato and make it sound like an old record. You can also add some noises. And et voila, it sounds like from 1960. <laughs> what you can also do is um, select the radio filter. It has a similar effect and I really like to use it. Let's add some reverb again. Like this. Or you can use the fruity love filter. Okay, sounds better without reverb. Get creative. Tip number four, remove the release and the reverb. I got this trick from Syntheon. Just remove the reverb, set the release to 0 0.001. Because if you set it to zero, you still have some clicks. So set it to 0 0.001, like this. Uh, let me show you how it sounds like in a better context. This is how it could sound like. Tip number five, make a bit crush automation. I got this tip from MidiDuck, so shout out to MidiDuck. Um, what I did, I put an effector on my piano and automated the X parameter and it sounds like this. I think that's a very nice little accent and it gives a bit of rhythm into the piano. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and see ya next time. Bye!